continuing to field questions for us simile i have a student from within our telegram group who uh, posted uh, a poll from reddit uh, where someone asks as far as the final weeks before the step uh, are concerned should you do amboss versus content review versus melman and i'm leading this poll right now and this isn't about me inserting myself and being an asshole. It's more about just, uh, it's a no brainer that my free high yield PDFs that are on my website are the best use of your fucking time. Okay. I mean, that's really what it is. And I have never once said that Amboss has a role in USMLE prep. That'll get some students real fucking emotional. Okay. I mean, it's almost like when we discuss uh, QBank, UWorld, Amboss, et cetera, it's almost like politics. Okay. I mean, someone mentions like, a uh, concept like gun control or abortion. It's going to get some people real fucking heated real fucking fast. Well, it's the same thing with like me saying Amboss has no role in USMLE prep. It's going to get some students real heated. Okay. So, uh, but that's in my view. It's not that it doesn't have utility. It's just that we have to consolidate around just getting you to pass the step one, not wasting your time. And UWorld's pretty fucking satisfactory. However, the question as far as in the final weeks, Amboss versus general content review versus uh, Melman's, my free high yield PDFs, you need to make sure you know high yield arrows PDF very fucking well. Okay, I'm gonna link it in the comments below. If you know high yield arrows, you are going to pass your USMLE. It's a highly specific, doing well, knowing high yield arrows very well, is very specific. It rules in you passing your step. Anytime I have a student come to me who's failed step one or who's had multiple attempts at the school comp CBSE exam, it's to my observation, his or her understanding of the high yield arrow concepts, aldosterone high versus low, ADH high versus low, PTH, vitamin D, thyroid, etc. His or her knowledge slash understanding of the high yield endocrine sucks jack fucking shit, okay? So in terms of AMBOSS, content review, Melman PDFs, you're going to know my high yield arrows PDF extremely well before you go into the USMLE. There's no excuses, okay? You are allowed to study slash review whatever you want. I'm not imposing myself on you where I'm saying you can't do a certain thing. Just in terms of your time, Make sure you, as I've talked about in many of my prior clips here on the YouTube under the exam guidance playlist, make sure you know NBMEs 20 through 30 prior to your step one for step two, six through 11, as well as all the clinical mastery series forms. Make sure you get through all of you world. Make sure you get through my free high yield PDFs and make sure you are going through the audio cubing questions here on my YouTube, which I've sorted by playlist for you. Okay. So if you cover all that material, you're going to do well. And during dedicated, during the final weeks, go through my PDFs, make sure you know high yield arrows really well, make sure you're focusing on the NBME exams, and that you're off of QBank by this point. You know the deal, I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel, and I appreciate your time. That's it.